So we're looking at the Mundrel guitar support today. And so you can see it's attached to my guitar with three suction cups that go on the back face of the instrument. And with a magnetic attachment on here that goes on your leg, which makes it, um, the magnetic attachment makes it very maneuverable. You can really move your guitar in any angle that you want. So if you're the type of player that likes to move around a lot or look over at your duo partner or something like that, it's very, very maneuverable. More so than some guitar supports, right? So um, let's take a close look at this. I'll bring the camera in nice and close and then we'll just talk about it after. Okay, let's take a closer look at the guitar support now. So here's their logo there. And if we flip this around, Handmade in the UK. There's their web address. Now, you, as you already saw, this goes on your leg. and There's a thick foam pad here. So that um, keeps it nice and soft, but it also stops it from slipping on your pant leg. So it's kind of like an anti-slip device as well. So that's nice. Soft and non-slip. Now, as I was saying, one of the most unique parts of this guitar support is the um, magnetic attachment here, which offers an incredible amount of versatile movement. You can see you can just move it in any angle that you want, and it just slides around there. I think it's very secure. I've been using it for a few days, and it's, it would I don't think it would ever come off in performance. You'd have to be doing something pretty freaky to have it, the magnet come off, but if I apply some pressure, I can just pull it right off and then it attach it. So that is such a cool feature and so unique and I think that's um, any device like this will want to attach like that to have the maneuverability if you want that maneuverability. You know other guitar supports don't have that and that could be a good thing or a bad thing depending on your perspective but um, I certainly found it very unique and um, I liked the maneuverability quite a bit. It's just cool that it just comes on and off. Okay, so this little band here is just in case that you're angling it in really steep or you're doing a steep movement and that it, you know it might accidentally make contact with the instrument so this nice soft piece of foam here is just to stop it from uh, damaging your guitar so I don't Think it actually ever made contact with my instrument but if it did it would just make sure that it's a nice and soft contact. So another cool feature of this support is how they've attached the suction cups to the wood. Um, I don't know if this is aluminum but it feels like aluminum and it's super light so but it's very strong like if you look at this that's going to be just rock solid right? Nice and light really clean workmanship it's great, and three suction cups is a good idea. I mean, the more the merrier, right? I've been using it for a few days. Suction cups haven't come off. Um, when they first come, they might slide around a bit, but just clean them. If you clean them with a little bit of dish soap and then dry them, um, then they're super sticky again. You can also use some of that um, nylon or vinyl um, cling wrap stuff that I recommend on the back of the guitar if you want to make it even more sticky, especially if you have a French polish, that could be a good idea. I'm actually just using it right on my French polish and it's working great, but um, if your polish is super porous and has some gaps in it, um, just use a, a little bit of that vinyl wrap and it'll stay on, I think, no problem. So this here is for the, um, the strap system that they also invented and I'll demo that later in the video. But um, so this does come off so that you can use it with the strap system. But it's not doing any harm there. It doesn't rub against my chest when I'm playing. It's quite a bit lower down. So um, I didn't feel this part at all on me. So it wasn't a problem. So there you go. It's pretty, a pretty simple device overall. Not too complicated. Um, but like innovative, right? Lots of, especially the magnet is like, it's just um, super maneuverable and um, a really good step forward. Okay, so now that you've seen the support up close, let's just talk about it and some of the pros and cons of the device. So first thing, taking it on and off your guitar is pretty straightforward. Just grab the little tabs and it should come right off. 
And one of the cool things about this guitar support is that if you want to throw it in your case or your bag, like you just detach that, detach that, you can throw it in a whole bunch of different compartments or if it just fits in your bag or your case like that, that's great. It's so collapsible, right? Which is great. Now, um, putting it on the guitar, I just laid the guitar down like this and then I've been using it for a few days so I know pretty much exactly where I want it. But one thing you could do is you could take some of that vinyl um, cling, non-adhesive vinyl cling wrap that I recommend on the site under the gear page and um, just put a square exactly where you want this support every time. And you can even mark it with like, um, a, you know, a little um, pen, not on your guitar, on the vinyl wrap stuff. Uh, the exact angle that you want or something like that, just so that when you throw this on, it'll be in the same place every time. Like I said though, I've kind of gotten used to exactly where I want it and how I like it. So you just pop it on and you're ready to go. Um, Theoretically, like on a soft shell case with kids or something, you could just like take this off but and leave that part of, on your guitar, but that's probably not what most people will do. So let's get into the pros and cons. Now, the, the most unique, um, uniquely amazing thing about this guitar support is how maneuverable it is, right? That ability to just twist your guitar in any angle and while I'm playing like sometimes I lean forward or lean back or lean to the side and I still have all the support I need but the maneuverability is great. Now some people may not actually like that. Sometimes you some people will want their guitar support to just be absolutely um, solid and then they'll just stay in one place. Um, when I compare it to some other supports you'll see what I mean. But um, I quite like the maneuverability, and I think a lot of people, um, depending on what style of music they play, will really like it as well. In terms of its adjustability, um, it doesn't expand or, or contract like this, but of course, since it's mounted on the back of the instrument, you can move it up or down if you want it higher or lower on your instrument. So I kind of like that, um, that back-mounted idea because it just means there's less like little knobs and screws and things like that to adjust. It makes the device nice and simple and simplicity is, is really key when you have a performance um, guitar support. So you just move it around. Um, the suction cups have been staying on really well, like no problem. Like it's just not coming off and this magnet part has not been coming off. If I yank it really hard, you can take it off, but it really, um, it's on here pretty well, so I don't think there'll be any problems with that. Um, like I said, just make sure your suction cups are clean. Um, and if you use some of that vinyl wrap, um, if you have very porous finish, that might help keep them on as well. One of the things about these um, back mounted supports though, is like, I feel like there's less pressure on them in some ways. Like some of the ones that are mounted down here, feel like there's a lot of pressure pushing the suction cups off of the guitar, but the ones that are mounted on the back, like the guitar lift and this one, um, doesn't seem to be a problem, right? Now, how supportive does it feel? I feel like it's really good. Um, I've noticed on some of my other guitar supports that like doing tough bar A's and stuff or something where I have to like get in there a little bit doesn't feel as secure. This feels pretty secure to me. Um, because it's so maneuverable though, I really do recommend having some of, you know, the shelving cloth that I've used with all my guitar supports, like every guitar support. I like putting some on my opposite leg here. Um, keeps the guitar a little bit more secure in that regard. But I still have all a lot of maneuverability and it can come on and off that pad if I want it to. The advantage of this guitar support that is just that it moves in every angle. But this really kind of secures that as part of the guitar there so that I feel a little bit more secure. But it feels good to me. Um, sometimes it hops around a little bit, but that's kind of more just getting used to it. Every guitar support is different, right? But this one's pretty good. And this doesn't slip at all. This stays on your leg very securely. So I like that. So um, it's pretty supportive. I think it feels really good. I played on it for a few days and I'm thinking about using it a lot. So um, very supportive, um, very maneuverable. And now, so let's just compare it to some other guitar supports and we'll talk about whether you want that maneuverability or not. 
And of course, it's all personal preference, right? But I think a lot of people and a lot of pros will want to try this guitar support out. Um, I think it's it's really worth a try. So, what do we want to? What is the closest comparisons to this one? Well, the old Murata guitar support is very similar, just in terms of like this part that rests on your leg. But one of the problems with this one is that the clamps don't work on my raised fingerboard because on a raised fingerboard guitar it slopes down, so the clamps don't work. They do make one of these with suction cups that go on the bottom of the guitar, but again, I, um, I haven't tried it, so I don't know how well it, it would work. But um, one thing I don't like as much is just all these little screws and bolts and adjustability. Like it, it gets complicated kind of quickly. So um, I like how secure this support is, but I, I just never use it because it's just kind of cumbersome to use and set up. So this one's kind of a step up. The, the other one would be the guitar lift, right? The guitar lift is gonna be very similar. They both mount on the back of the guitar with suction cups. And then this one uses this maneuverable pole and this one is just an extension of the guitar essentially, right? So when you're using something like the guitar lift, um, it's a little bit different of an, of an experience. You put the guitar lift on, and then it, it's pretty secure on your leg. So it's very secure, that's for sure. Like, the, But there's not that much maneuverability. And again, that depends on if you want that or not. This guitar support's very, very secure. Like It feels like I'm just putting the guitar on my leg because there's no maneuverability except what would naturally be maneuverable with an instrument, right? Like with a, with a solid one piece instrument. So this one feels very much just like an extension of the guitar and um, very, very solid in that regard. Um, in terms of maneuverability, it's not as like silky and um, highly maneuverable. Like this one almost encourages movement. Oh, put this on. I know these videos are boring with me setting things up, but maybe with guitar sports it's good. You can see me like just popping them on and off quite easily. So yeah, there's something about this one that actually almost encourages like little little bits of movement. Like it's I don't want to use the word unsecure because it feels very solid and secure, but it's like almost, in, I like moving around. It's like I can feel the movement on that bearing there. Um, so it's, it almost encourages that movement. But then again, most of the time when I play, um, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be really be moving that much. Movement like this feels different than like the guitar lift or other sports. And that's the thing, every guitar support is going to feel different in that regard. Um, the other thing I would maybe want to take a look at in the future is having a smaller pad here. This feels a little bit on the big side and you probably want it big just so that it's very secure feeling. Maybe that's one of the reasons it feels so secure and so that it doesn't slip on your leg. So having that big foam pad and the big um, you know, the big platform there. It's probably a good thing overall, but I would, I would be interested to at least try out a slightly um, skinnier one in this regard, so less wide, um, just to be a little bit less bulky. And I sometimes I wanna bring the guitar really close to me, um, and sometimes I feel like I, I won't be able to bring this like super close. So if this was a little bit shorter on, on the edge here, I could get another centimeter or something in. But again, personal preference, and um, you maybe just want it big so that it's comfortable and it's secure and that it does not slip. So I've been trying out just so many um, guitar supports, and each one is so unique, and each have their own kind of feel and their own um, different varying degrees of uh, secureness and maneuverability and so they all have these little advantages um, I do quite I've been using the guitar lift a lot lately and I feel like I will probably use this quite a bit too um, I've only had it for a few days but it feels good and I like playing with it um, and playing on it so in terms of like um, personal preference I think everyone that watches my videos know that I, I like simplicity in the device. Like the Katana is like very small and very simple. So I really like that about it. 
Um, the guitar lift is pretty simple too. It's a little on the bulky side, it's kind of big, but it's like, it's very secure and it's very simple. You just put it on and it's just rock solid. And this one, I would say is in between those, those different um, aspects. Like it is quite simple. It's just the one rod and yes, there's a magnet on there, but that's not complicated. It's, there's not that much adjustability um, in ch except that because it's mounted on the back, you can put it anywhere. Like you could put it somewhere on the guitar to put it on your other leg. It works on electric guitars. Um, because it's so small, compared to the guitar lift, like this this device wouldn't, the guitar lift probably wouldn't work all that great on some electric guitars. This would though. Um, so like highly maneuverable and yet highly simple. So I really like that aspect. I like that they're hand making them and they're made of wood. Um, it comes in a black um, color as well if you want it to be a little bit more subtle or you know blend in with your performance clothing. So you consider that. So a really great guitar device. Um, what I will do now is I'll try out their strap system so you can see what that's all about, which is kind of like an added innovation. Obviously, very innovative company. Um, so we, we'll try that out as well. But this is probably for the, the main classical guitar crowd, this is probably the main thing they'll be doing. But let's try out that strap and see how it feels. So I have the strap device on now. I'll just show you what that's all about. So as you can see, the guitar support is on my guitar. And then I'm wearing a series of straps here, which um, I'll talk about in a second. But essentially, this just fits right in. And if you want, you can use this extra little suction cup too, which I kind of like for the extra support. It even comes with um, a Velcro suction cup that you can put on your, your belt to secure the lower bout of the guitar. Um, which is a good idea too if you want it to be like just really, um, really in place because with the strap like you can really like turn the guitar around and all sorts of things because it's just pivoting in that, in that hook up there. Now of course you could wear this, um, the strap system underneath a dress shirt or something. Probably wouldn't, I mean, if you're practicing at home, you could just wear it. Um, but like, if you were performing, you'd want like a performance jacket. I'm just wearing a, um, a cardigan today, but a performance jacket would cover the straps up, which would allow you it to be kind of invisible. You could be playing and then suddenly you could stand up and walk around if you wanted. Um, so that could be useful in a number of applications, like sometimes when you're playing with other musicians or a singer, um, it's it can be very nice to walk around and interact with the audience or interact with with the other players. And certainly, the strap system is um, it's it's certainly good in terms of like back support and things like that. So it feels pretty good. Will professional classical guitarists use the strap system a lot? I'm not sure. I don't think they would use it all the time. But there could be certain um, concert applications where it could be very useful, um, performance art-wise, or like I said, interacting with the audience or different ensemble settings. Does it feel secure? It feels pretty good. Um, fairly secure, again, I'd, for the more purest classical players, I'd still want to like secure it with some on this leg a little bit. It definitely doesn't fall off. I actually like the support feel a little bit more, but again, like it's kind of cool that if you own this guitar support, you have this option of using the strap system. And um, certainly it would be very applicable to like ukulele and electric guitar, like electric guitar, you could really put it on and, and, and um, walk around with the band members and things like that. And with smaller instruments, again, you could just push that thing on and, and, uh, and walk around with it in, in different settings. Um, gig playing, I could see it useful maybe in, in gig playing if you had to walk around um, to different tables in a gig, like if it was at a cocktail party or a dinner and you had to walk to different tables playing. Um, you usually you're stuck in your seat, so this would give you the option of uh, walking around the gig venue and, and visiting different tables and things like that. 
Um, the purest classical guitarist is probably not going to want to like strap up in, in this every time. They're probably going to want to do the traditional support so they can sit down and play their concert. But again, this is just like an added um, extra and a pretty innovative company that you can buy the cool guitar support and then you get this whole other um, situation that you can, or this whole other way of using the support if you want it. So a lot of thought put into the guitar support. And this is certainly um, an interesting um, secondary factor to it. So this is a Mundo guitar support, and um, this is the strap system. So you can try that out. There's a video on their website about how to put the strap on, and you can see all the different applications. They tried out with some different instruments and things like that.